Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. I'm going to be doing a what's on my taskbar video. Um, now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen lots of these for Mac, but seeing as the new Windows taskbar is basically like a dock, I'm going to go ahead and do one of my own. So, yeah, let's just get this one started. Okay, guys, so let's just go ahead and move down here, okay? So, obviously, everybody has the start button, well, you know, you have all your stuff. <laughs> okay, so, first thing I have is Windows Explorer. Basically, this is where I can open up, get just a second to load, I can open my libraries, which is something new in Windows 7, so I can find all my documents and all that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of like the Finder, I guess, in, uh, in, uh, oh, in Mac whatever. Uh, next I have Chrome, Google Chrome, which is my favorite browser. Uh, always use that. Um, I also have Firefox installed. Um, I use it occasionally, mostly just for testing websites and everything. Um, same with I have Opera 10. I also have Internet Explorer, but I do not keep it on my taskbar at all because Internet Explorer. <laughs> anyway, um, next I have TweetDeck. I use this sometimes. I usually just use it, just do it in the uh, browser. Just have like, uh, just the page open. But this is kind of nice. I can open it and just kind of like minimize it to half the screen or whatever. It's kind of nice. Next, we have iTunes. Everybody has iTunes. You know, you got to have. I mean, having. I mean, I only thing is though is that my iPod. I haven't even had it installed. Uh, it doesn't even sync with iTunes anymore because it wants to redo it, and I'm not bothering with it. So really the only reason I have iTunes on here is just occasionally do some stuff. But surprisingly, what I've been using lately for music is Windows Media Player. Um, I believe it's 11 in Windows 7. Um, I'm really I'm really liking it. It's uh, it's pretty solid. I've got all my music. kind of is a little glitchy. It seems to want to search for every single, for all your music every time, which takes a few minutes. But uh, no big deal. I actually like it, and you can, I mean, you have the controls, like if I'm listening to something, I can, controls without even having to maximize it, it's really good. I've never used really media player before, so. And next, we have Live Movie Maker. Um, this is the new one that came out probably a week or two ago. Um, I had been using the beta for a little while. Um, that's basically what I use for all my editing. Uh. I've always used Movie Maker, and yeah, I know it's totally dumb, but I've always used Movie Maker, and now that Live Movie Maker's out, I'm kind of starting to use that. Um, I'm still not 100% at it. It's actually a pretty good, uh, definitely very full-featured. Um, I'm still learning on it, so, um, you know, it, it's pretty good from what I can see. Anyway, Paint. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to use GIMP and everything, which I actually don't have on here right now, but I always like to use uh, GIMP, but Paint. I've always used Paint, I mean, since, I mean, Windows 98, I've always used Paint. So, Paint's just kind of a handy thing, and it's actually pretty useful in uh, Windows 7. Okay, so we come over here, and uh, I'm using Cam Studio, which is what I'm using to record my uh, screen right now. Um, definitely a pretty cool program. You can see it's kind of messed up a little bit, but yeah. Next, now this is a pretty cool program called Exam. Um, basically, this is where I can use code and mock up websites on my computer without actually having to do anything. Um, I won't go ahead and show it everything, but it's definitely a pretty cool program where you, I can run everything I want just right on my computer and basically make it a full website, which is cool. Next is uTorrent. Um, I don't like uTorrent. <laughs> um, I very rarely use this. Just torrents usually just mess up for me. I don't know why. I've I was messing with it this morning, but just kind of keep it on my dock. Every once in a while, it's handy for an occasional download of Linux, of course, you know. Next, we have OpenOffice. Um, I don't have Word, and I've always, on almost all my computers, I have OpenOffice running. Um, OpenOffice, I love it. Um, it's a little slow, but definitely great. I, you know, I really like it. And, you know, definitely it's free, so it's cool. Um, next, we have WordPad, which I rarely use. Um, it's kind of... I, 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 I use it occasionally. It's it's better in Windows 7. It looks nice. I'll use it to type something up real quick, but uh, usually I use OpenOffice for that. It's actually, I'm not really sure what's on here, but um, lastly, I have Notepad. Notepad is just something really simple I use just for coding. 
Um, I know it's pretty old school, but I just, you know, if I need to just open up something and code it real quick. Unless you can see that my magnifier, which is what I'm running right now, but that's actually not on my dock. But anyway, guys, that was just a quick video. Uh, just kind of, I always see all these what's on your docks. I'm like, hey, you know what? I've got Windows 7. I can do that now. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's just about it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.